Chapter 5 Season 4 already looks insane. So, as probably a lot of you know, there was a D23 event that was held last night for me. I'm recording this on Sunday, August 11th. So basically, everyone got together and loaded into a creative map, and you sat in the map, and there was a big screen, and basically, it played a bunch of trailers before the event started, and then eventually, there was a live broadcast of the panel that was actually being held in Anaheim, California for D23. So that was pretty cool. It happened last night, and the event was intense to announce some new Disney stuff coming to Fortnite, but they also happened to show the official trailer for Season 4, and it looks insane. Also, side note, the trailer also released on YouTube, and it's currently number one on trending as I'm recording this. Today, I'm going to be going over everything. Disney announcements, the Disney event, the season event, and Season 4. Let's dive right into this. So there was an end of season event on Saturday that took place. And it was pretty interesting. I actually didn't get to watch it live because I was busy, you know, life gonna life. But I did watch it afterward and it revealed some pretty interesting stuff. So basically, Megalodon was doing some shenanigans at Brutal Beachhead. But Doctor Doom interrupted his plans and exploded the little pipeline on the south part of the map. All the way from Brutal Beachhead to Redline Rig. It was also revealed that the Wanderer, which the lore has spoke about, is actually Doctor Doom. So that's also something. But anyways, when the explosion reached... Redline rig, it had a huge explosion and it revealed Pandora's box as the source of the nitro throughout the island. If you don't know what Pandora's box is in Fortnite, it's a big part of this chapter's lore, so look it up. I don't feel like explaining it. This was a pretty cool mini event. This was a mini event, it wasn't an actual like event event. It wasn't anything like super crazy, but it pieced the lore together from this season to next season, gave us a nice little segue, so it did its job. I can't really give too much of an opinion because I didn't get to watch it live, but from what I've watched, what I've seen, it looked pretty cool. So basically, D23 was holding a live panel in Anaheim. I already explained this a little bit, but just I'm going to go over it again. They were holding a live panel in Anaheim, California to answer questions about, you know, whatever. But in that event, they also had the Fortnite announcements, which were broadcasted onto a screen in the Disney map that Epic created for the event. I think the map had, it had 1.3 million players at one point, which is insanity. The one bad thing about the event is that it took absolutely forever to start because apparently the live panel went for longer than they thought so what was supposed to happen is they were supposed to have the live panel and then after that they were supposed to have this event that was broadcast into fortnite but apparently the panel went on for a long time and it got delayed a whole bunch the event was supposed to start at 11 30 p.m est but it actually started closer to 12 a.m est so the event was delayed almost 30 minutes which my boys aggro smurf and pojo and i were not not very happy about that and the map had coins to collect to keep players entertained but it didn't take that long to collect them all. Maybe next time, Epic, just like put a parkour course in the middle of the map or something in case, you know, the event happens to get delayed again, just maybe. But enough about the event. Let's talk about the announcements. So they announced that some Disney villains are going to be incorporated into the game. They'll probably get a skin and other cosmetics if I had to guess. The villains they showed on the video were Corella DeVille, Captain Hook, and Maleficent. So I don't personally care too much about this, but let me know if you do down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I think this is good for Fortnite to connect with the older audience that plays the game which isn't a lot, so it's good that Epic is looking out for the minorities. Good job, Epic. Now, the Pixar announcement I do care about. They announced that the Incredibles will be coming to the game. They showed Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, and Frozone. So I'm going to assume that they'll all get a skin and some other cosmetics. Elastigirl is going to be uh, interesting, to say the least. But uh, I'll definitely be copping Frozone. Frozone, I feel like, is going to be is going to play into the game really well. I feel like the animation and the colors are going to be really well for a skin. And I'm excited to see, like, the back blings and, like, all the other cosmetics that will go along with these skins. And there was also a Star Wars announcement where they revealed two skins that I honestly don't know who they are or what they're supposed to be. So... Let me know in the comments. I'm not a Star Wars guy, sorry. I mean, they look pretty cool, I guess. So those announcements came first, and then the Marvel guy got to speak. Kevin something, I forget his name. And thus played the Chapter 5 Season 4 trailer. First and foremost, I think this is going to be a great season. There are so many new things coming to the game. They all look pretty good. There's also some really good old stuff returning to the game, like the Scar and Stark Rifle, other stuff. We'll get to that later, though. First thing I want to talk about is the Battle Pass, because I don't really care about it that much. In order, here are the skins. I'm not going to say them all. All the skins look pretty cool from the trailer. I love the decision to make Jonesy Captain America. I love that. It's very cool. I would switch the placement of some of these, like Shuri being a Tier 100 skin. That's a little bit questionable to me 
money, but I don't care enough about that to complain about it. This is a good battle pass. I was worried that they were gonna like copy the first one a little too much, but they actually didn't. They didn't bite off of it at all, so good job, Epic. There are also other skin concepts like uh, Sabertooth Meowsicles and a Deadpool X fish stick skin or a uh, fish pool. They look pretty cool as well. Now to gameplay. First, we'll look at the map changes. Dr. Doom's castle looks absolutely sick. It looks actually insane. And if I had to guess, it'll probably replace Lavish Lair, which is another plus because I don't like Lavish Lair. Also, we have a prison looking POI that kind of reminds me of the authority for some reason. Both of these spots look very cool. I'm hoping there's more than just these two. If not, I mean, that's fine, I guess, too. But I'm excited to see how each of these POIs play out in the new season. Also, I think there's going to be a little Galactus spot. That's what I heard according to some images in the trailer. That'll be cool. I'm not sure what they'll do for that, but I'm excited to see. I think these map changes will be pretty good. and I'm, I'm looking forward to landing at Doom castle that i'm hoping they make like a whole little biome for that and it, it looks sick man and now for the meta so returning items we got the scar the stark rifle the ak iron man's gloves and captain america's shield i love the stark rifles coming back as well as the scar I, i've always loved the stark rifle ever since it got introduced i'm glad they brought it back i wonder if they add the the regular ar back and then like the purple and gold scar or if they'll add the scar from chapter four so that'll be interesting the ak i don't care too much about because it, it sucks now and by the looks of it i think the iron man gloves have a have a have new movement mechanics so that'll be cool to check out i could be wrong and the captain america shield looks just as cool as it was back in chapter one now i'm assuming that some of these marvel items are going to be available like in chest and on floor spawns because there were a lot in the trailer the doom item should be a mythic and it should be at the poi but i'm interested to see how they get all the other items in the game like in chapter 2 season 4 they had all the quinjets spawn in all around the map so i wonder i wonder if they'll do something like that again as far as new weapons and items go the black panther mythic looks new the jetpack and turret for war machine looks pretty new those look pretty cool i'm hoping that epic doesn't make the jetpack turret combo too broken because I could, I could definitely see that being a problem going wrong. But I'm gonna put my hope, hope cap on. But other than that, I'm really not too worried about stuff being broken because everything in the trailer looks pretty balanced. I think Epic learned their lesson from this season. Good job, Epic. Also, new we have some kind of dual SMGs coming. That kind of concerns me a little bit. That'll be interesting to see. There's a new sniper coming and a new pistol as well, I believe. And also, I, I think they said they're gonna add some kind of Stark shotgun, kind of like the Stark rifle. So I'm super excited to see that if that is true overall i feel like this is going to be a really good fun season and i need that after this season i was kind of worried that epic was going to make the season really broken and unbalanced but after seeing the trailer i'm i'm not too worried and i know the trailer doesn't dictate how the season's going to go but this season looks genuinely fun i'm excited for it stay tuned for season four content anyways that's going to do it for the video thank you guys so much for watching i'm super excited for season four make sure to subscribe so that you're here when i post stuff from season four because i definitely will be turn on the bell icon so that way you're notified when I do. Make sure to like this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about what season four is going to be because we don't know yet. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for the support. You guys are all amazing. Uh, the, the Just the, the growth we've seen is just amazing. I, I love you guys so much. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. I love you. Peace out.